YouTube channel. How are you? How is everyone? Are you all okay? Happy New Year to you all. Oh my God, it's the 1st of January. I am filming this today on New Year's Day. Oh my God, it's bright outside, it's happy, it's positive. New Year, new me. No, I'm joking. Still the mental wild Laura that I am. <laughs> Um, but yes, welcome. I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm so rubbish at these introductions. I might get used to it one day. Um, and I am hoping to get more videos within this year. I would absolutely love to share um, so many more videos with like being second time mum, um, the ins and outs like of motherhood, the good, the bad. It's not bad, but should I say the rule of motherhood, reality and stuff like that. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. These videos just, um, I'll just roll out my tongue. I try not to edit too much. It is what it is. If I edited too much, there would be no video. Um, <laughs> I don't know sometimes what I'm saying. It just comes out like verbal diarrhea. <laughs> so welcome to my channel. Thank you so much if you're new here. And if you're not new here and you've watched my other videos, thank you so much for watching and the continued support on this YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm really hoping to give it a go this year. Um, so this is my first one. I thought it'd be a really good one because I am due this year. Oh, that sounds so weird saying I really need to make a move. Like, I am not prepared. I feel like, so I have a three-year-old son. Um, no, he's not three yet. Oh my God. I have a coming up three-year-old son, which is three in February next month. Oh God, I just can't cope with this New Year situation. And then I'm due a baby girl in March. So this is my second baby. Um, she's head down already. I'm 30 weeks pregnant. I don't know where the time's going. I feel so unprepared this time, if I'm generally honest with you. I know that I look like I've got a lot of stuff, but like it looks like I have a lot going on, but <laughs> it's really not <laughs> as much as you may think. But I just wanted to share an insight today of like what I have, if this is your first time or if it's your second time or if you're having a girl and you're not sure what to buy. Um, this is sort of just a little bit of an idea. I absolutely love watching these YouTube videos and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do one. So I am just in my lounge comfy wear, uh, sports bra. This is what it gets like when it turns to 30 weeks. It's just like, all right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's just comfort is key, as they say. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would like do a little bit of a run through on what I've got so far and hope that it would help you um, if you thought, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that or not. I, I, oh my God, I haven't got that. Um, and obviously, yeah, I just hope this does help. So welcome to my channel. Let's crack on and show you what I've got. And yeah, if you've got any um, like questions or anything like that, then please like comment below um, or pop over onto my Instagram. Um, I'm on there like just a little bit wild again, just a bit of like reality motherhood and stuff like that that I share. So yes, um, welcome and let's let's do it. Oh, I've got a hair in my mouth. Oh, sorry, <laughs> stuck to my lips thing. Um, first comes first, nappies. Nappies from Audi. I swear these are Audi nappies, Lidl's, Audi, Audi. So these were the best ones that I found when my son was first born. I had my first son in a pandemic, so the nappies were really, well, I thought I was gonna have to start putting like cloth on him or something like that. But luckily we managed to get quite a few of these um, towards like more, more in the couple of weeks and they were really good. So I feel like the newborn ones and they're so cheap, like this is so cheap. So everything as well that I'll be sharing will all be affordable. It's not overboard or anything like that. It is just literally the, the basis of what you need and what I feel I need second time. Um, so yeah, I did go and grab some nappies the other day and I will probably grab some more. Just grab it as you go. If you feel like you're in a shop, grab it as you go because they go through nappies so fast. Wipes and stuff like that so quickly. So I then bought some oval like little cotton, cotton, cotton pads and I will also buy some cotton, what are they called? Like the little cotton balls, cotton balls. I will get them as well because they're really good for when they're first born. Obviously you can't wipe them with wet wipes. You have to wipe them with like these with hot water. So I just got these from Primark, but again, home bargains, b and &M. I then got some of these. These are from Next. They are Next Outlet, so they were really cheap. They're muslins, muslin cloths. 
So I got a four pack of them for four pounds. So that's so cheap. Like, but if you want to still find cheap ones, go into Primark. Again, they are so affordable. Asda used to be cheap, but I found they were about eight fifty for free the other day. So go to like a next outlet, go to like Primark and stuff like that. I do feel like they are really good. So I got little pink flowery ones for her. Um, my first son had cow's milk protein allergy. And I went through muslins like there was no tomorrow. Like he, And now it's so funny because we always had them. He now sleeps with one. So this is his like, he's got one, I think in his bed over there. And that's like his little blankie. So yeah, they're really good stock up on muslin cloths. A baby bath. This is so good. It little hangs up if you want to hang it up anywhere. It's absolutely amazing. I had this one with my first son, but I had it in blue. Obviously, this time I have gone for pink for baby girl. So um, absolutely brilliant. Now, this I got from Marketplace for £5. Go on to Marketplace. Like, literally, I can't describe to you that when you have a baby, they grow out of things so fast. Don't go buying everything 25, 30 pounds. They will be out of it. The baby will probably stay in this till about four months, I think it is, four to six months. Obviously, until they're strong enough to be able to sit up in a seat, which maybe I'll do that another video when she's six months, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Um, like a little seat and stuff like that. So this one is absolutely amazing. Obviously, they lie in it. Um, and also a great little tip that we learned from our first one, um, put a flannel over them. So obviously it's quite cold because obviously they're out of the water really because you have to do it quite shallow. So the baby lies in, you put a little flannel, pop that on, angel care bath thing, bath seat. It's going to be a very hit and miss one for people. People will either say no, like they never had that back then and all this lot, but we literally, this was amazing. <laughs> With our first son, it was amazing at night. So not necessarily in the day, because we were just doing fresh. Obviously we were at home because we were in the lockdown. So we just done every bottle fresh um, and you know, it was absolutely fine and it was easy. But obviously in the evenings, it can be quite hard if you're gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna breastfeed or bottle feed yet, but I have got this. My friend actually gave this to me. Um, I was looking for one anyway and she was like, what do you think? Do you want it? And I was like, yeah, I'll have that one. So yeah, this is a Tommy Tippy prep machine. So it makes the bottles in, I can't remember. I think it was like, I think it was silly, something silly, like a minute. So it gives a hot shot of water. Then it gives obviously um, to kill the bacteria from the formula. And then it adds in the lukewarm water, which will make the temperature exactly how the baby will want it. Obviously, the bottles need to be warm when you give them to a baby as well. Obviously, everyone's completely different. But um, just from what the midwife said to us, they just have to be warm, obviously, because of like bacteria and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's got all different measurements. It does only go up to four. It can't starts at four. Um, and then obviously goes up to 11. So it starts at four ounces, which obviously a ba newborn baby wouldn't have that. So I think that we didn't start this prep machine till Kojo was about two months old. Um, so yeah, you fill the water, you have to like put a new filter in it and everything like that. But honestly, an absolute game changer. Tommy Timmy prep machine, highly recommend this bad boy. Life saver. <laughs> I then found these little pack of dummies. I loved the colour of them. I don't even know if they're any good. Has anybody ever used these? Bibs Couture Pacifier. They were 170, reduced from 10.95, which to be fair, I did look online and they were quite expensive. They've got a baby pink one. So these are from TK Maxx. If you aren't sure where to go and get stuff, you need to go to TK Maxx. But yeah, 170, I got little pack of dummies, size one. So from zero months, Obviously, again, not sure if she'll take a dummy, but I am going to be prepared and have one. Okay, so everybody completely each to their own. Um, you know, literally so different, but white noise. Used it with my son. He still has white noise now just to drain out. Like if I'm doing anything downstairs and he's asleep in bed, it just drains it out. Um, so we actually use this one for him, which is called Ollie the Owl. Oh, is Ollie the Owl not working? Come on, Ollie, don't show me up. It's also so relaxing. Look at it. I've had this for three years nearly. So if you buy a new one, he won't look as battered. Ollie the owl does look battered. Are you all right, darling? Bless him. Loads of different songs. Heartbeat. 
there's a light oh yeah and a light can't really see it because obviously it's roof but there's a light on it so um ollie the owl is amazing i love him he's great the dream egg again this is so nice you can hang it on the pram you can hang it in the car on the car seat you can take this one around with you which is a lot easier than that one so again this one is literally amazing i love it so much it's a game changer my son used to be a really rubbish sleeper bless him and we used to be like oh my god and then we got some white noise and i think it's just quite therapeutic for him i think it just gets him into a little bit of a routine Oh, yeah, cheers. Calvin's just made me a cheese toasty ketchup. Sorry. Calvin, legend. Oh, my God. Sorry. Maybe it's just time to get your snack. Okay, back from eating my cheese toasty. Sorry. I just needed to get that in me. I think it is about one o'clock. Baby was ready for grub. Delicious. I feel like I need a nice cold drink now. Oh, well, that can wait. Um, so the next thing I got was this. So it's a little bag. I got it from Next in the sale for three pounds. So this is what I'm going to take to the hospital with me to put in her stuff. So I feel like I actually am quite prepared now. I didn't think I had a lot of stuff. I was seeing over on my Instagram the other day and I, at least you have hardly anything, I don't think. But when I'm sorting it all out, I'm like, all right, Laura, I'm more prepared than you think. Um, I hope anyway. I haven't got much longer to go, so I really should have made us like I had to make a start. So I got this for I think it was yeah three pound or something. Come with a little hat, bib, little bag. <gasps> Oopsie! Oh, poor Ollie the owl. I had some ketchup left over, and he's just fell over in the ketchup. Great! It's going to be even more dirty than he already is. So that little bag there, I thought it was a really good idea. I didn't actually do this with my first son. I didn't have a clue these sort of things existed. So I've gone and got one of these little bags. It says, hello world. So yeah, I'm gonna put all her stuff probably in there, roll it up, put it in the suitcase. The next thing is in here. I can't lift it, obviously. I haven't put it together. It's been all like cleaned and washed and I've got to, um, maybe I'll try and show you in a minute, but basically this is what it is. So it's a Joyo, is that how you say it? Joey, Joyo, I don't know. Swing chair, literally amazing. So again, I bought this from Items for Sale. Um, seen them on quite a few people that have got them. They move, they move. And I was like, I feel like where I'm gonna have a toddler, I need something that I'm gonna be able to put her down and she's going to be okay, comfortable, safe, secure. And obviously they had a lot of recommendations. So I was like, right, I'm gonna have to get that. So I got that one from items for sale, like marketplace. Again, like stripped it all down, washed it, cleaned it, everything like that. So again, now it's all been like taken down. It's in the cot. Um, so yeah, I didn't get this with my son. I got one that was quite high up and it never rocked. Luckily we were home with him all the time. And to be honest with you, we just sat there and cuddled him. But at the same time, I feel like he is going to need, like my baby girl will need, I don't know, I just thought it was a really, really good thing. I've seen people having them that were like highly recommending them. So I was like, right, I need to get on this. So it swings, it makes noises. It's obviously got these little grey things that like dangle down and that. So when she gets a bit older, obviously like they could play. And so, so yeah, massive recommendation. I haven't actually used it with the baby yet, obviously, but I just know that and fingers crossed that it is going to work so well. So has anybody got one of these or had one of these? I would love to hear like your thoughts on them because um, they do look really good. Two last but not least. Again, I can't bring it in the other thing because the other thing I haven't actually got yet. I've got to go and get it from my friend. Um, look at me with all the second hand bargains. All my friends have had like second babies. So and I'm the last one to sort of have the second baby. So they're like, Laura, what can I get rid of? What can you, like, what do you want to have from us? I'm like, doctors have it on, girls. Bring it over here. <laughs> so yeah, that's really handy. Um, again, it, like, you know, it's completely up to you, but everything doesn't have to be brand new. Obviously, like mattresses and stuff like that, I would recommend to get new. Obviously, clean everything, like sterile everything, um, which I suppose we would just do anyway. So this is her cot. This was Kojo's cot. I think it's called a... Oh my god, I can't think what it's called. 
I'll put it up here what the name of it is. It's a, th is it a two in one cot? Three in one cot, sorry. So absolutely amazing. This was something that I did buy brand new. I said when I had my son, like I just wanted a brand new cot. Um, and I just thought it was, I just love it so much. I love the white and the wood. Um, again, new mattress um, on here that we've um, gone and got. So I my partner's put it up quite high because obviously I'll have to change her and stuff like that on there. Um, I have got a changer mat as well. Where's that to? Okay, I have got a changer mat. So a changer mat, something like this. I don't know where I've put that to. Um, maybe it's over there or something. I can't remember. But yeah, I have also got a changer mat for her because obviously they're going to be need to change nappies and stuff like that because they have explosions and they go everywhere. So um, I don't know what it's like with a girl this time. So I'm used to a boy and it just go, woo! <laughs> woo, everyone! So with a girl, is it different? I don't really know. So um, yeah, changing mat and obviously the cot goes into three so it gets taken down. But obviously she won't go in that till about six to nine months. I reckon she'll be in there about nine months because her and my little boy will be sharing a room. I think that um, the room is really big, um, but at the same time, obviously at nine months, they still do wake up. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready for my son to be woken up as well, um, especially when he will start like nursery and stuff like that. So she'll probably be with, be with us to about nine months. So we've got a snus pod. I had this with my first son again massive recommendation a snuzz pod like incredible amazing fab amazing so if you have a c-section um, and obviously you can't lean over or lean back um the side comes down sorry i've got my heartburn now from that cheese toasty oh my god sorry it's really embarrassing well um so yeah the side of the snuzz pod comes off i'll put like picture here or here of the snuzz pod we've got it in white um and you can get loads of different colours and then the under under part of the snuzz pod is so good because obviously you can put the nappies under there so if I've got like these little baskets um like these that are from B&M um again like absolutely amazing just put them under the baskets full of everything you'll need throughout the night so changing spare clothes you know ham it uh, just all those sort of like extras that you don't want to be getting out of bed to get you just want it underneath and also I found with the snuzz snuzz pod it rocks so with the next to me crib people do i know so many people that have got the next to me cribs but for us like i don't know if it rocks actually i feel like it does but it's really big we haven't got loads of room in our bedroom to have one of those so the snuzz pods are really delicate they're, they're really cute and they also come off so the snuzz pods come off so what we done was we took it off or if we was to stay anywhere um obviously we were in a lockdown but when it got to about six months or something we could start to venture out a little bit more we did take the snuzz pod and if i stayed at my mum's house um, or somewhere like that um, we would take that just that part of the snuzz pod throw everything in it um so obviously like bottles milk blah, 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 all that sort of stuff ollie and um yeah put it in the boot and it was just absolutely perfect so that's really good where the next to me is really big to take with you um so yeah massive recommendation obviously then they're used to the bed and like they're comfortable and stuff like that so I've got a few hospital stuff that um, I went and got the other day and well, I got for Christmas as well, actually. So that was really handy. So first thing first, dry shampoo. I might actually put that in there a minute. Then I got a lip balm because in the hospital, oh my God, your lips are like so dry. Does anybody else feel like, even if you haven't had a baby yet, if you're in hospital and you've got dry, ugh, why are they so dry? So yeah, I've got some lip balm. My mother-in-law got me that and the dry shampoo um then i bought myself this the other day Whoa! hospital essentials mint crisp chocolate winter it was on offer for half price i was like right i'm taking that to the hospital with me uh i'm just so excited to eat it already so yeah snacks for the hospital if you i might do another one with a hospital bag what do you think should i do another youtube video Chris, um get these youtube videos out this year shall i get do another one for, with what is in my hospital bag maybe would that be helpful i don't know but if it is let me know so i got myself well actually calvin got me some slippers so these are for the hospital i'm not going to wear them yeah i'm just going to leave them for the hospital um so if i have another c-section obviously i'll be in there for a few days and obviously you never know how long you'll be in there for so yes uh he's got me some slippers and then calvin went and got me some pajamas it is what i asked for for christmas to be fair so he got me um, extra large, uh, silky baby, silky pajamas. I love a bit of silk, I do. 
So um, he got me silky pajamas. They're really easy to breastfeed as well because obviously they've got buttons, so you can just move it down. Um, and then look at the look at the elasticity on these bad boys. So again, these are an extra large or large. Oh, I'm just so excited to wear them already in hospital. Hang on, baby. Look at these. Hello. So yeah, I got some um, <laughs> some wide leg pajamas, which I'm really excited to wear. Hot water bottle. I don't know. I don't think I need a hot water bottle in the hospital, but it is normally like a sauna in there, isn't it? Then I got a dressing gown um, from eBay, I think it was. So I just bought like a silky, like, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. Oh, I love it. So I got that, but I thought I could wear this. And then obviously if I was breastfeeding and I just had my big knickers on and I could just put this on, do you know what I mean? I mean, long socks I'll probably have to wear because my feet get really swollen. So yeah, I got this one from eBay. I think it was about seven or eight ninety nine. So that's a dressing gown because I'm during March. It'll be too hot to wear one of those big fluffy ones. Last but not least, last but not least, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I always feel like I'm, I really enjoy doing them, but I'm like, I hope I'm not boring you. Um, but yeah, last but not least, go and get your free um, Emma's Diary Packs. So these are so helpful. Um, I've actually got the labour pack. I need to go and get two more, I think it is. So they just come with loads of really good essentials. So vitamin D drops that your baby needs to have, um, a little mini pseudo cream. And then they give you like a little Emma's diary, tells you all about sort of, to be fair, it's really good. I was actually reading it the other night and it tells you all about everything. So I um, currently had a emergency C-section with my first son. So obviously I'm going to need to have a C-section. No, I'm going to try and go for a VBAC, I think it's called. So vaginal birth after C-section. So it was telling me all about it in here, like pros and cons and stuff like that, which I've got a meeting for this week coming. So yeah, go and get them. They're free. They're, free. they're from like Asda. I don't know. Asda, Boots, Superdrug, those kind of places. Um, and they've got some great ones. So yeah, just ask for them and they'll give them to you for free. That is my 30 week, what I have, essentials. I don't even know what to call this video yet. I'm at the end and I'm like, what do I call this video? But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I hope that, oh God, I just love doing them. I feel all like happy then. And then I've got to go and edit it and then I'll upload it. And I just hope that you really enjoy it because I absolutely love doing them. And I hope this has been really helpful for you. Um, just a few bits that I've got along the way. Obviously I am 30 weeks, so I do need to get a bit of a move on and make sure that I'm prepped because um, time's going too quickly. But yeah, I haven't got a pram or anything like yet, that yet. Um, car seat, pram. I think that's the only thing really I need to get. Obviously I've got plenty of clothes. So yeah, my next one, I will do a clothing haul. So if you are wanting to watch something like that, Baby Girl Clothing Haul will be next. Um, found lots of bargains along the way. Um, oh, okay, I'm really ready for this one. I think I'm gonna be so excited to do this one. So yeah, ah, can't wait to show you. Anyway, have a lovely week. Happy New Year to you. And I will hopefully see you at my next videos. Um, and. Hopefully I'll be able to share more because obviously I need to get pram, cameras, um, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I will hopefully be doing lots more. So please subscribe, like, comment, 2023. I'm going to try and get out quite a few. Um, so yeah, happy new year to you. Lots of love. Bye.